just to sort of recognize that the difference between way back when our fellow Caribbeans, Africans, people of color, it was not safe to speak up, they were slaves. So now everybody is free to speak up, everybody is free to voice their opinions and to share your background as well as, like I said, have the freedom to speak up when you think something is not right. It's very important that everybody gets a chance, regardless of what we look like, regardless of what background that we have. So it's a celebration. It's a celebration of emancipation. To commemorate the day, they unveiled a plaque dedicating the flourishing Community and Harmony Garden to CCAH founder Isilda Bailey and longtime CCAH president Veronica Tyrell. Her son, Andrew Tyrell, believes his mother would have loved the garden. She always wanted to have a permanent installation for the Canadian Caribbean Association of Halton. And in 2021, after George Floyd um, was murdered in, in 2020, we did a survey. And one of the things that came out of that survey was a research project that we did with Sheridan and with the Oakville Community Foundation. One of those things that came out is that uh, people were saying that they want to have public spaces that uh, represent themselves to give them a, a, a greater sense of belonging. Attendee Sophia Miller's reaction to the garden illustrates the importance of such a space in the community. Exciting. A lot of people like me here because I don't have a lot of people like me at my school. In addition to being a gathering space, the garden is a part of the accessible day camp programming that the CCAH runs and provides the opportunity to teach youth about the growing cycle. While we look back at all the trials and tribulations that our community has faced in the past, this is an example of being fruitful, working together, collaborating. We have the youngsters that are watering the plots. We have not just the Caribbean community of Halton, but all the various communities. Our organization is black-led, but we're contributing to the community of Halton. And everyone's welcome. Each one of these plots that you're looking at represent a different group, a different neighborhood, a different younger people, older people. And together, we're making this happen. So this is a great celebration of collaboration, coordination, and in the end, planting the seeds, seeing the fruits of our labor. For Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.